Did you know you can use two audio interfaces when using Logic Pro for iPad? Well, we're about to find out. My name's Jade. This is How to App on iOS, and this is the Daily Digest. Let's have a look. So I've got a project open here in Logic Pro. I've set an, an auto drummer, so we're ready to go with some heavy drums. And um, also I have connected here my Spark amplifier from Positive Grid. Now, in the old days, when you would try and connect this bad boy up, it would overtake the interface that you had plugged in. Now, I'm using the Arturia Mini Fuse 2 back there, so they would fight and compete for space when you would do this in, in when you do this previously. But only in Logic now, you can have both of them connected. So let's show you how to do it. I've got this Spark connected into a powered hub at the back. Also, my Arturia is connected into the powered hub at the back, which is going into the iPad. Let's have a look at Logic. How do you set this up? So we need to move our mouse over to the top corner here. Go to settings. Go to recording in app settings. Uh, recording. And you'll see here we've got an input and an output. Now, most of the time when you go uh, to your settings, this little auto select devices will be on. You'll have to turn this off so you can choose what you want. So if we go in here, we've got our input set to mini fuse, output to mini fuse, but if we click, look, there's the spark. So now it just connected. So now we've got the spark going in and we've got the mini fuse going out. Pretty wicked stuff. So you're gonna get sound coming through through the, through the spark. Now this will work with USB microphones and an additional Hub, uh, uh, audio interface. So if you want to use two interfaces, one going in and one coming out, you can do that also. We'll show you that at the end. So I need to grab a guitar, of course. Let's grab this one that's just sitting here waiting for me to play. And then we'll head back over here. We've got our devices selected. Let's create a brand new audio track by hitting the plus button. And uh, you can see if we collect, click our settings over here, you can see the spark selected as the input. We can set here, make sure it's set to mono. That's all good. So the spark should be coming through. As soon as I hit record, it's all turned on. So let's show you that. Hit the little record button. Oops, I hit the wrong track. <laughs> and give it some volume. So it's coming through the speaker here, but you can control the volume here if you don't want that too much louder, and if we hit record, we should be able to record in. Record it in beautifully. Turn off the record, playback. Of course, this now opens up the opportunity to do some pretty wild stuff. Now, I've tried this in AUM, I've tried it in a few other things, it doesn't seem to work there. Looks like Apple have only made this a function for Logic Pro. So we've got our Spark plugged in, so that works. I'm using the effects over here, I can show you, that are connected to my phone through the Spark. So you've got all these great effects. So there's that. You can use USB microphones because there's so many new USB microphones that are available, like the new pod mic that has USB-C and uh, the normal XLR. Unfortunately, you can't use 32-bit float at the moment with iPad, but let's hope that becomes a thing also. So let's go back into our settings. I'm going to turn off the Spark now. Let's turn this off. And we'll head back into our settings. And you'll see it's reset now to, we'll show you that, to Mini Fuse and Mini Fuse. I'm going to unplug the Spark, bring you back over here, and we'll plug it in to this beast. This is the Steinberg UR22 Mark II, so it's an old one. Let's turn this sucker on. There we go. So we've got power. It's uh, lit up and powered. And you'll see now, look at that. 
it's automatically found the Steinberg. So we've got the Steinberg going in and the mini fuse coming out. You can change this as you want by hitting the arrows, change it to mini fuse going in and a Steinberg coming out. Wicked. And you can see I've got a HDMI plugged in as well here. So you could even do a HDMI out. So you can do use multiple things. This is killer. Why didn't they tell us about this? <laughs> Wicked stuff. So there you go. Two interfaces, Spark amps, USB microphones, two USB interfaces. It's all the rage. It's, it's available in Logic Pro. Super excited. Anyway, I hope you found this video uh, interesting, informative. If you did, please hit the like, do the subscribe, all that kind of stuff. It really does help. And remember, do the things that make you happy, mistakes make you better, and we'll all rise together. My name's Jade. See you later.